What's your name? My name is Trishala. What is your daily routine? Uh, my daily routine, um, I take care of my brother yeah. um, and also I go to work. Do you guys share any hobbies together? Things that yes, you do together? we share hobbies like we cook together, mm -hmm. we play games together, we read books. Yeah. With any of the activities in particular, is there any struggles that could be made easier, do you think? He has difficulties using his hands, mm -hmm. so his muscles get tight. So he has to be relaxed if he's doing activity and he has low muscle tone. And how would that help you with your daily routine? I think it would make life easier that, you know, at least he feels he's independent and can be capable of doing things in the future. Also, you know, um, take that kind of pressure off and feel that he is growing in independence. Um, so I would be very, very happy. This yeah. is the clothing velcro idea. Yeah. This beautiful. is the hand basin idea. Okay. This is the spoon, feeding spoon. Yes. And this is the cooking spoon. Um, I like um, the wooden spoon the best, yes. Okay. It's great for baking. I think with the first prototype, I think that um, spoon is quite small. Mm -hmm. um, I think the length should be probably increased um, on the size. Yeah. But mixing and the round bulb to hold the spoon is actually <laughs> good. <laughs> what did you think about the second prototype? I did like the fact you can hold it, but I don't know if it's logical to um, mix it for him. Because sometimes he has low muscle tones and tight muscle tones. Yeah. So he could be stiff. But, yeah. The wooden spoon was too long. The handle didn't fit his hand and it was heavy. So I chopped the length of the spoon. It became easier to use, but it wasn't the end of the story. We experimented with Play-Doh and Polymorph, which showed massive improvements. It was malleable and could fit the hands perfectly. He was able to create circular motions. And we achieved yes. our objective. The last stage was to choose which spoon would be the best attachment. At first, I chose the red spatula, but realized it was too heavy for a child to handle. So I decided on the green silicone I bought from the charity shop, as it was lightweight, flexible, and had a sharp corner for scraping. I wasn't able to give the final product on time, but now I can rest easy knowing Trisha's brother is able to mix using anything by molding polymorph to his hand.